he told me seven years ago that I'd be standing here marrying a Philadelphia Flyers fan, I'd tell you that you were insane. But here we are. When I met you, I knew that I needed you in my life in any capacity. You were the life of the party. Your smile was contagious and everyone loved you and it was so easy to see why. We spent the first year of our lives developing a friendship that is the foundation of who we are standing here in front of everyone that we love. I spent that same year convincing myself that I wasn't falling head over heels in love with you because it wasn't that serious. It wasn't until you told me you loved me for the first time that I let myself fall completely. And it wasn't about the fall for me. It was the realization that this is what it is to be found. Sarah, from the very first time we met, I felt a need to be around you and get to know you. That feeling only grew over time. It grew during the long drives across state. It grew through our sports rivalries. And most of all, it grew that weekend in Hershey. Marty and Sarah have found a love, that true love that's everlasting. They are truly themselves together and they complement each other in ease every way. On their journey together, they're going to find a love and commitment that is a matter of giving and taking, receiving and gifting, ups and downs, highs and lows, peaks and valleys. I promise to encourage you to always follow your dreams, no matter if they're crazy to everyone but us. I promise to support you when you need it. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to always cherish the friendship that started all of this and to never forget where we came from because I love you in the language of everyday things. You've always been my biggest supporter through every challenge we faced. With you by my side, I know we will continue to conquer all obstacles that come our way. I promise to always love you, care for you, provide for you, and to be the man that you deserve. I will always protect you, encourage you, and treat you with respect. You are the stars to my stripes, and I truly cannot wait for us to become We The Sidor Chucks. Well now, in front of your closest friends and family, and by the authority given me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Marty, you may kiss the bride. There's a time in everyone's life when they find that special person, that one person they know will always love and care about them. That moment came from Marty 13 years ago when he met me. <laughs> Sarah, you look beautiful tonight. Let's give it up for the bride. Whoop, whoop. partner to Sarah and a wonderful father to Ted and you're also a great friend to me you put up with our weird inside jokes and you don't bat an eye when you walk in and us screaming the 10 minute version of all too well and I just wanted to say thank you for stepping into the role of best friend when I can't be there Hey, 
everybody. I'll keep it uh, brief here. I just want to say thank you to everybody for coming out, uh, sharing this special day with us. Really appreciate it. You know, everybody here has been with us along some form of our journey, and we're just happy to have everybody here. Dad, especially, thank you very much for everything you've done, uh, you know, getting this wedding going, everything like that, and I just uh, really appreciate it. Everybody raise your glass. Everybody get a drink. Happy Fourth of July. <laughs>